Oh, and I got this up and going. I'm gonna make a copy of that system disk. Since that seems to be a good copy. Let's see, we'll go ahead and give it a date. Let's see, 06. I believe the command is backup. Ah. Do I want to reformat? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> so the master password was password. That's what I thought it was going to be. Not unlike watching paint dry. I think this computer is running at 2 megahertz. It's either just a Z80, uh, Z80 microprocessor, I believe it's either 2 or 4 megahertz. I can't remember which one it is. So, yeah, that's megahertz, not gigahertz. All right, here we are. Reading track two, three. Doing eight tracks at a time. Now it's writing and verifying. Huh. The extensive copying. Some of these older 8 bit computers didn't worry about verifying the data, they just they just did the command. This one's actually trying to make sure that it's right. So that's pretty neat. Heck, even these old IBM compatible PC computers didn't even verify the data unless you told them to. This one's doing it on its own. Track 19. Now, if you only had one disk drive, you'd have to see how many times it goes back and forth. That's how many times you'd have to swap disks. Backup complete. Now, I will take the original out and get our copy. We will hit the reset button and reboot the computer and see if it works.
Oh, there you go. Nineteen eighty one. Oh, the computer is already on, so it didn't ask for the date again. That's interesting. Oh, yep, and all the data. These files down here are basic basic programs and apparently somebody started typing the programs and never finished them because uh, I tried to run these programs and they don't do anything I, you know I, we slowed up the basic we'll try Jason so I think his is the biggest program so we'll just hit enter enter and it's gonna give me 38k and allow me to open three files apparently let's load loading this file into memory. Let's list it. Spent a lot of time on this. It looks like it was supposed to be a role-playing adventure game, but Enter to continue. Last time I picked C in it. Let's pick Dallas. And then it's error. And I want me to edit that. I don't know it. I believe that's the last line in the program. Uh, 3100. Yeah, pretty much the last line in the program. That's as far as he got. <laughs> so the program doesn't do anything. But I got other programs that do. New. Yep, it's all gone. Now let's see. I don't think you can exit this like you can an IBM. No, it doesn't know what I did there. I think you just have to hit reset. Yep, there you go. My repaired TRS-80 Model 3. Thanks for watching.